what's up? It's Richie here with Stata Fun Football. Alright, this is your bowl preview special. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go day by day for the bowl game. Sometimes there might be one or two games. Sometimes there might be four or five. It just depends on the day. Start it off with Friday, December 20th. There will be two bowl games that day. First game is the Bahamas Bowl. Bahamas Bowl. You have the Buffalo Bulls, 7-5 out of the MAC Conference, facing the Charlotte 49ers, 7-5 out of the CUSA Conference. And Charlotte 49ers have an interesting story. They didn't even have a football program until 2013. So in only the sixth year of existence, you've already made a bowl game. Um, they did so with a pretty good offense, averaging 31.6 points per game, which is top 50 in the country. They're 27th in rushing offense. Um, their defense is it's okay. Sacks are 36, which is like 10th in the nation, so they can get after the quarterback. They're top 20 in tackles for loss with 83. They have a really good quarterback, Chris Reynolds. He passed for 2,366 yards, 21 touchdowns to 10 picks, and ran for 757 yards and 6 touchdowns. And they have a running back, Benny LeMay, who last season ran for 1,000 yards, and this year he ran for 1,027 and 9 touchdowns. And they have a receiver, Victor Tucker. 49 catches, 848 yards, 6 touchdowns. Then go on their, their defensive side. Their defensive st st uh, statistics, they're kind of in the middle of the country. However, they do get after the quarterback. As I said, defensive end, ha Alex Highsmith, he has 14 sacks this year, which is second in the nation. And then Marquis Watts on the other side of him um, is about 11th in the nation with 9.5 sacks. So they can get after the quarterback. Unfortunately for them... The Bulls run, run, run. They, they don't have an option game. They have one of the best duos in the nation, actually. That, and they're actually 11th in the country in rushing offense. Um, and their duo is uh, running back Jarrett Patterson and Kevin Marks. Jarrett Patterson is 5th in the country with 1,626 yards and 6th in the country with 17 rushing touchdowns. Kevin Marks himself has 1,008 yards and 8 rushing touchdowns. Um, and they... So that's pretty much what they've got going for them. Whereas Charlotte's rush defense is 97 in the country. So you have a strength versus big weakness there. And on the flip side, um, Buffalo's defense, their top 30 in the nation scoring defense, and ninth in total defense, defense, eighth in sacks, sixth in rushing defense. So any kind of offense that Charlotte has, Buffalo is one of the best defenses in the country. They also get after the quarterback defensive end. Taylor Riggins, eight and a half sacks. Malcolm Coons, seven sacks. And there is Mack, seven sacks. So, and all those are defensive linemen. So, they get after the quarterback all the way across the front of the line. For those reasons, um, that's why I think Buffalo will end up winning this game. And they may end up winning by, by quite a bit in the end. I think it would probably be close in the first quarter, first half maybe. But I think they're going to rely on those two running backs, their defense, um, Charlotte, like I said, they have a decent enough offense that can put up some points, but I just think Buffalo is just going to pound, pound, pound on them and break a, break, a, break a few long runs, end up winning late in the game, win something like, uh, I don't know, like 30 to 24, something like, I don't know, something like that, but I got the, bill, the, bull, the Bulls, Buffalo Bulls winning there. All right, and then the second game on Friday, December 20th, is the Frisco Bowl. It's Utah State against Kent State. Kind of two opposite trending teams here. Utah State came in. They lost a lot of starters. Uh, they only had like eight total returning starters, but they had one of the best quarterbacks in the group of five, Jordan Love, coming back from uh, last season in 2018. They were number two in the nation in scoring offense. They've dipped down quite a bit uh, this year. They went 7-5, and five, and their scoring offense is 68th in the country. They're, they're still pretty potent passing, 32nd in passing offense. Um, 76th in scoring defense uh, there. Jordan Love, he's, he's dropped quite a bit. Last season, he had like 32 touchdowns, only 6 picks. This year, he's thrown for 3,085, 17 touchdowns, but 16 interceptions. Um, they have top receiver, CLC Mariner, could get 1,000 yards. He's got 874 receiving yards and 8 touchdowns. They have Cameron Haney on the, as a defensive back. He's got 11 passes defense. They have a really good kicker in Eberle, uh, 19 of 22. Whereas Kent, now they're facing a pretty good Kent State team. Now Kent State, they were 3-6. and six. They won their last three games to get to 6-6 six and six to get to bowl eligibility. And if you look at their offensive statistics, they're 76th in the country and 27 points, over 27 points a game. 
Um, their 44th rushing offense. But their last four games, they scored 30 or more points in those games. And that coincided with Dustin Crum uh, taking over quarterback. He, so far, 2,333 passing yards, 18 touchdowns, only two interceptions, plus 560 rushing yards and five touchdowns uh, there as well. Um, they have a really good kicker as well, Trick it 24-29. So this is the kind of game I think could be pretty high scoring if Kent State keeps scoring the way they have the last four games. And if Utah State gets to what they are capable of doing, they've been up and down a year on offense. Uh, like I said, Jordan Love, he's thrown way 10 more interceptions than he did a year ago and about half as many touchdowns. Um, all that being said, I do think Utah State's probably the better overall team. Jordan Love's a good quarterback as, as well. This actually should be pretty, uh, I think, high scoring. The over-under for there is 65.5, and, a half, and that's, that's a lot of points they're giving there. So that's that's about what I think think it'll be. But I'm going to Utah State here in the Frisco Bowl win. All right, so check in daily for my, uh, for my bowl preview picks. The next one will be the Saturday, December 21st. So there's about four or five games then. I'll do that then. Keep a, uh, you know, subscribe, like, share. Peace.